Hi guys, today I'm here with a new baby name video for you and this video is actually going to be part of a new series I'm doing on names from famous historical families. And the first family I'm going to talk about are the Romanovs. And the Romanovs were the last family to rule Russia. One thing to keep in mind is that I don't speak Russian, so if I do make pronunciation errors on these names, feel free to correct me in the comments, as always. The first name I'm going to talk about is Anastasia. Anastasia might be one of the most famous members of the Romanov family. She was a princess who allegedly escaped when the rest of her family was murdered. And I think the name Anastasia is so beautiful. It's a Greek name and it means resurrection. The next name I have is Irina and Irina is a Russian name. It means peace and I know that a lot of North Americans would say Irina and I think it sounds beautiful either way. Then there's the name Xenia, and Xenia is a Greek name. There are a lot of Greek names on this list. And Xenia means hospitable. And I think this sounds very, very modern, especially with the X beginning. Then there's Eudoxia, and Eudoxia is also a Greek name. It means good fame, and again, I think this name sounds very, very modern. It almost sounds like something you would hear in a sci-fi movie. The next name I had never heard of before I did the research for this video and that is Yevdokia. And Yevdokia is a Russian name and it means to seem well. And if anyone has any other information on this name I would love to hear it because I couldn't find that much information on the name Yevdokia. The next name is one I've always really, really loved, and that is Ekaterina. And Ekaterina is a Russian form of the name Catherine. I think this would be a really, really great way to honor someone named Catherine, um, but still use something a little bit different. Then there's the beautiful name Natalia. This is an Italian name, and it means born on Christmas Day. The next name I have is Olga, and to me this sounds very, very Russian, Slavic. It is a Slavic name, and it means holy. Then there's Elena, and Elena has been getting some recognition recently because of the character from Vampire Diaries. Elena is a Greek name. It's actually a variant of the name Helen, and it means light. And the last girl's name I have is Tatiana, and Tatiana is a beautiful, beautiful Russian name. It's of unknown meaning, and Tatiana was actually one of Princess Anastasia's sisters. The first male name I have is Ivan, or as we say here in North America, Ivan. Ivan is a Russian variant of John. It's one of my favorite variants of the name John, and it means God is gracious. The next name I really, really like, and I think that might be partly because it's a Russian variant of my personal favorite boy's name, and that is Feodor, and Feodor is a variant of Theodore, and it means gift of God. Then there is Alexei, and I think this is a really cool name. Uh, it's a Russian name. It's a form of Alexander, which means defender of the people. The only problem I could see with this name, um, using it in North America, is that it's so similar. It's spelled the exact same way as the name Alexis, which is such a common name for girls here. The next name is probably one of my favorite masculine Russian names, and that is Dmitri. I think this name is so, so handsome. It's a Russian name and it means servant of Demeter. Then there is the name Simeon, and this one is actually a biblical name. Simeon is a Greek name and it means to be heard. Then there's Alexander. Alexander is a very, very classic boy's name. It's a Greek name as well and it means defender of the people. The next name is Pavel, and I really like this one. It's a Russian form of the name Paul, and it means small. There's nothing small about the next name though. 
In fact, it's very grand, and that is Constantine. Constantine is a Russian name that means everlasting. And I think the meaning goes so well with the sound of the name, everlasting Constantine. It's just such a grand name. Then there is Vladimir, and I'm not sure how usable this name would be in North America. I still think that it's a very, very cool name. Um, I'm just not sure how usable it would be. And it's a Slavic name that means great ruler. And the last name is another one I'm not sure how usable it would be, but I still think it's very cool, and that is Sergei. And Sergei is a Russian name that means servant. So those were some names from the Romanov family. Let me know what you thought of these names. And I think the next family I'm going to feature are the Ptolemies. And the Ptolemies' most famous member is probably Cleopatra. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you later.